sir? We the one call. Okay, they have a fifteen ninety nine special unlimited. Me and my sister both got one, and then we ordered um dessert. You called? You call? Yes. We called because the man told us because I gave a plate of shrimp to my brother. He told us we got to pay for him eating it. That's not what they special say. If you go look at their menu, it don't tell you. That's like you eating and you give something to your sister or your friend. It don't tell you nowhere on there if you shut the food. Then they charge a 15. It's a unlimited. unlimited. All right. He told he us said because we, we share food. We, he, they charge us for every person that ate at the table. You can't do that because they don't say that. Hey, this is Raul. Please act right. Just for clarity, in case you didn't catch it, the women called the police because the advertisement says $15.99 all you can eat. The two women pay for themselves, but the guy standing here didn't pay. She gives some of her food to him and the manager tells her she can't do that. Now that's not why I want you to watch this video. I want you to watch the behavior of the two women and watch how this escalates when the officer gives a lawful command to the woman in the red shirt and a guy who comes out flipping off at the mouth to these two women. Talking about some oh, um, well, I'm yeah, coming. Hey, because I was the girl behind us will tell you, you you can't tell us if we ordered it. It don't say if you this only for one person. It say fifteen ninety nine per person unlimited. It don't say fifteen ninety nine. But no, sir, he. He told us because he ate, I gave him my plate of shrimp. He told me he charged because he seen our shrimp. You can't tell me if I don't want to eat some, then I can't give it to but nobody. To play the system. I get where you're coming from. You know, but they know we wasn't. Okay, you're paying one fifteen ninety nine, so three adults can eat the one. It's multiple. Yeah, it's multiple things. It's, it's endless. 15, but I'm thinking myself. But it's endless. It's it doesn't it's say. They, okay. they limit so how you much you can is? get. It, 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 it doesn't, doesn't say it, that. No, sir. They should. They should say that. I'm gonna be honest. If you saying that, you should say. Her person, it doesn't say per person. Now, watch this. Fifteen ninety nine per person. It says it right there. It says it right on the menu. Now, if the cop could find it by looking at it in a couple of minutes, why didn't they see it? Now, watch how they change gears. Her initial complaint for calling the police was for the fifteen ninety nine issue, meaning you can't share the food with someone who did not pay. Okay, that's one thing. That's what I'm saying. And for us three adults. Okay. We ordered the kids so from. He's sitting here. It's talking to me talking about we're fucking savages. You speak on. And I'm saying, like, no, 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 and kept it moving. He obeyed the lawful order. Now watch how the one woman responds to the same command. Fellas, pay close attention. Oh, I'm wrong. Shut up, shut up. No, wait, hold on. I got the right to shut up the fuck up. He just said, if she doesn't shut up, she's going to jail. Oh, I'm going to jail. No, shut up. Just let it go. No, no, no. Ain't no fucking let it go. Because, guess what? I'm telling you one more time. One more time. Shut up. Notice how the boyfriend and the other young lady is telling her to shut up along with the police officer who says if she don't pipe down, she's going to jail. But she just keeps going off. Look at what you're doing. And because she won't calm down and stop running her mouth, guess what happens? Off to jail she goes. Now keep in mind, the guy who says something that came out of the door is on his way to the comforts of his own home because he closed his mouth and went on about his way. I'm not making excuses for him because he should have kept his mouth closed in the first place. But the point I'm making is, he's not going to jail. Can I have her keys for her car, please? Please. Sir, please, can I talk to you? Please. Take the keys. Please. No, she's going to jail. Please. I'm going to jail because I had something to say about somebody. Please, please. Yeah. Woo -woo, just please. Okay, yeah. I'm going with you. But please, please. 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 Me, because I had something to say but about him disrespecting me. Because I had something to say about him disrespecting me. Get in the car. I gotta go to jail because I had something to say about him disrespecting me. Okay, so now you're gonna be resisting, right? I'm not resisting. 
listen. Then get in the car. But you're really telling me I'm going to jail because I have something to say about him. Yeah, you were yelling. I told you to be quiet. So for all you young fellas out there that don't know any better, this behavior from a woman is one of the biggest red flags. Never get romantically involved with a woman who won't close her mouth. You shouldn't even be friends with a woman who can't control her emotion and doesn't know when to shut up. She's about to go to jail and she's still running her mouth. So far, she's being charged with disorderly conduct and disobeying a lawful order. And now the cop is threatening to add resisting arrest. I gave her three chances. Okay. Y'all, you, you being very aggressive and rude, and all I'm doing is trying to take it out. When Listen, you get drunk, I, how many times, no, how many chances I, asked, I, I know, but I asked her, sir, when I asked her, I said, when he got out, she's being aggressive with me. Back up okay, and doing that. All I'm asking you're, is, when you're done, can I talk to yes, you? Yes, absolutely. But she was doing But you're too inhibiting much my job right now, okay? I wasn't admitting your job. I was back. But I said, when you're done. You're getting in my car. Right, so listen, okay, that's all fine. All I was asking, can I talk to you when you were done? And now she's about to prove the same point of me making this video, not knowing when to be quiet and listen. Gentlemen, this is a bad trait in a woman. I don't think I was wrong because I'm not in your space. I'm not trying to stop you. I'm just asking, could I talk to you? That's all I was asking her when you yes, were okay. done. Listen, you're, you're talking to me now. All I'm asking. So sir, what happened with inside? The man. Now remember, they said that they called the police about the $15.99 per person ordeal. But now that her sister's about to go to jail, watch how now all of a sudden they want to talk about how they were being so disrespected by the manager. Why wasn't that mentioned earlier when the cop first showed up? Thank you. That man was very disrespectful. It wasn't even about paying the bill. It's how he was talking to the, the man that walked out. No, this man. No, she, that man said something about what happened. But she was out with it. That man was very... It wasn't about paying the bill. It's... It's, it's a way to say everything, sir. Okay. It's a approach. That man was very disrespectful. How much did you pay? We didn't pay anything. He actually yes. went up on the bill because it was less than that. It was actually 115 as she started. So I tell her to shut up. So the other woman that's in the police car who's about to go to jail is still running her mouth. Unbelievable. She's already going to jail. Can you ask her? Can I ask her to be quiet? No, she's... she's so, no, I'm just saying, so y'all get what she wants to ask her to. So, listen, as far as the bill... We, I mean, the bill is going to be paid. The bill is going to be paid. I mean, you've seen it. It's yeah, no, I, I, see, I see that now. I see that now. But all I'm just asking. What's... I mean, you I'm not with you. Yes, I need to gladly give All it was is when a man came to the table, we were saying, like, he's so like... So you felt he was being disrespectful to you? He was. Okay. He won no felt. The way he said it, you mother... Come here and did it and done. Like she said, she recorded the girl was our witness. And it wasn't even that he asked is... How it's a way to say everything, I and like I told him, you want your job, you a management of a restaurant, that's not how you talk. To I, people. Absolutely, I agree with you. You could say something within in a manner that you don't want people to get crazy on you, absolutely, especially if there's people around. I get where you're yes, from. and that's what dude that dude that came out, he was sitting behind. My thing was, stay, I felt my sister. You didn't hear what he said at the table, the girl was actually sitting behind and hear what he said, sir. So he didn't understand when I got up, and I will be honest, I said something, you're not gonna talk to me like that. It's a way to say you're not gonna be. You don't have to be disrespectful. You're choosing to be. It's a difference. You're choosing to be disrespectful. And I told him I would call nine one for you. And I so now she's saying she called nine one one because the manager was being disrespectful. But when the officer showed up, all she was talking about was the fifteen ninety nine. Didn't say per person. You guys were, you guys were under the impression that it was fifteen ninety nine, not per person. But it's okay that we know that now. Okay. It, even when he said that, or or whatever, whatever the case you may be, do, all she had to do would just be quiet and cooperative. But how many, uh, I, get, how many chances did I get? You did, but sir, like, you was quick to arrest her too at the same time. I, I she can't had allow every screaming. way. That man was disrespectful to her. He came out the door him? saying, "Y'all are savages." Not him, the man that was in the uh, black shirt. He said, "Y'all are ratchet." And so, you you still right there when the man came out the door and told us she were savages and ratchet. He did say that, and she said, "But it's okay that he said what he said and walking away." She, and he didn't know he kept talking. But your sister was running her mouth so much that even if the guy said something else and walked away, the cop was so focused on her because she was yelling. Now let's fast forward and watch her sister and the boyfriend try to convince the cop to let Miss Loudmouth go. He, he said, said officer, have a good night, and he walked away. No, he didn't. After I told her to no, be, he didn't. listen, I'm not going to get into an argument with I'm not, I know you're not, but no, he didn't. When you said be quiet, he was still talking, calling us savages and ratchet as he walked away. Then he told you to have a good night. And this right here is the biggest part of the reason why I wanted you guys to watch this video. 
Look how cool, calm, and collect the boyfriend of the woman who's in handcuff is. He tried, along with the other young lady who is her sister, to get the girlfriend to close her mouth, but she wouldn't listen. No, not I gave her three chances. Who's paying? I'm going to pay her. She could go in there. Yeah. Nothing. Please. No. I can't. Please don't. At this point, no. Porter County Jail. So, I mean, you, you've seen it on the menu. It's $15.99 per person. You've yeah, seen I it, right? saw it. I saw that. No, I didn't. I thought it was the same. I know you guys are under the wrong impression. Like, sir, like, as far as her, I don't know if that's... Who is that to you? Girlfriend? All right. Well, she's gonna be taken for sort of the conduct, all right? I mean, you've seen her. Three chances, man. I'm, I'm, I would just say, like, why, why, why come the other people aren't being talked to as well? Very simple. When I told they, them they, to be they, quiet, they walked away. And be, be quiet. But, How but many times did I tell your girlfriend to be quiet? They were, but what about them being in there? That's what I'm saying. There's a Sir, I part. can't do anything about that in there. I didn't witness it. I know. I'm just saying, the only reason that she went back in there is because they told her she had to because of what was in her hand. And they come in gaslighting. I just like that's considered gaslighting and or antagonizing an issue that's already there. Because I know for a fact, like that's not a normal, that's not a normal response. Like, that's listen, somebody listen, antagonizing. Plus, like, I get why you be, trying, I get why you be just, like be upset about that. I was just like, I get that, and, and I, 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 I get, get why she, I, I get why she be pissed off about that. And I, I, I would I, be too, but at the same time, it's just like, listen, I told them, listen, be quiet and get out of here. And he did so. How many times? How many times did I tell him to be quiet? I get that, dude. But she, we can't have this like screaming, especially when I tell you three times, be quiet. I looked at you and I was like, dude. Come on, I have to do my job. Disturbing the peace. There can't be a warning. This is never like that's what I'm saying. This is the first time any of this is even happening. As far as the first, that's how it's like a first offense. Usually stuff like that can get resolved. Where they say just like or just say like you know just don't come back here again. Stuff like that. At this point, though, I'm just saying why could that be a better? Why couldn't that be better? Because I gave her three warnings, and that's more than I usually get. Usually you get your one warning for disorderly conduct, yeah. and then don't. I gave her is three opportunities. You guys or just it's just you? impersonal disorderly conduct. You're disturbing the peace. This type of woman can be very dangerous. She can keep running her mouth after you told her over and over again to be quiet and can put you in a situation where others will bring harm to not only her, but to you as well. And that harm could also mean your demise.